Hi everyone, um, my name is Emma Boyd and today we'll be talking about section 19.9 or the nucleophilic addition of hydrazine or the Wolf-Kishner reaction. So this reaction is the general method for converting an aldehyde or a ketone into an alkane. So below it you can see the general pattern of how it looks for a reaction. So below that is the general mechanism, which basically what happens is a hydrogen and nitrogen atom form a bond given which form a given intermediate. So the hydrogen attaches to the negatively charged oxygen atom and the hydroxide that forms detaches, forming a double bond between the carbon and the nitrogen. The hydroxide ion then removes the charge left on the nitrogen. The structure rearranges, forming a keto-like structure in water. This carbon item, atom is then protonated by the water, which then after protonation causes the hydrogen group to leave forming an alkane. So the problem that we're going to look at for this one is problem 19.13, which the directions are to show how you could prepare the following compounds from 4-methyl-3-pentin-2-ohms, or the compound that shows below. So in part A, we have 4-methyl-2-pentone. So by adding um, H2 and PD, we can see that we form the 4-methyl-3-pentin-2-ohm. Then the next part, so it wants you to form the 2-methyl-2-pentene. So you can see by adding the N2H4 and the potassium hydroxide to that, we can to the 4-methyl-3-pentin-2-ohm, um, we can form the compound. And then lastly, it wants us to make 2-methyl-pentane. So by first adding the H2 and then the potassium hydroxide, and then with the next step by adding the N2H4 and the potassium hydroxide again, we then finally will form our 2-methyl-pentane. So thank you for watching.